Hello everybody! Saucy Sweet Ren here and welcome back to more of Pokemon Renegade Nuzlocke! Um, last time we made our way to Floroma and we started uh, the Team Galactic plotline. We, um, we faced the guy that was like kind of blocking the entrance over here. We caught a Pokemon here. Do we, do we have that Pokemon in our party? I can't remember. No, we don't. We caught a Magnemite though, yeah? And I think I named it Gary, and I forgot I already have a Pokemon named Gary. Because I don't know why I forgot, but I did. So, yeah. We also faced down the members of Team Galactic that were in the Floroma Meadow. So, yeah, we did that. And now, I guess that I'm trying to train up everybody to level 20 before I go any further. So, I think I'm going to continue with that. The reason I'm training up to level 20 is because I am scared of the Perugly that is in here. I'm pretty sure that this is the person who has a Perugly. It's been a while since I've played the game, but I'm pretty sure that Mars, it, it, like the redhead is Mars and she's the one with the Perugly. Jupiter has the pinkish purple hair and has the skun tank. And then Saturn has the blue hair that and a toxic croak. That's what I remember. So I know I haven't streamed in a while. I've kind of been like, in a weird place, kind of, mentally. It's also been kind of crazy at my house, because my sister's about to go to college. So we're, we're trying to get her off. And my mom said, when we come back, we're going to be focusing on you now. And I'm like, no, please don't. I already, like, I... I don't know. My mom is... My mom is... I don't even know. My mom is very much a helicopter parent in the worst ways possible. She she thinks that Ninjago is too scary for my 16-year-old brother. Like my like uh, she was like, "Are you sure that you can watch Ninjago?" and my my brother's just like staring at her and staring at these Legos on the screen like like, "Bro, are you are you kidding me?" <laughs> She thinks it's too scary for me, honestly. I'm just sitting here like... I, like... Have you seen Disney? Have you seen the Black Cauldron? Like... Have you seen... I don't even know. My mom is... I don't... I don't have the words. That's one of the things she does that's, like... Less annoying? I'm trying to think of, like, the right words. It's... Hmm. Either way, I'm just, I'm just trying to focus on, like, my video stuff these days. I've got one video series that I wanted to start, which is, um, I kind of want to bring back my Sims 4 series, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently with, like, a brand new family. I've actually, I have pre-recorded, like, 14 episodes by now. And, um, I've been trying to edit the first episode, and I have been unhappy every single time I've edited the first episode. I'm just sitting here like, hmm, but I could have done this part better, I could have edited this, I could have done this instead. I'm just not happy with any of my editing, and now I'm about to, like, edit it for the third time over. And I'm still recording more episodes. It's like, this series is gonna be the death of me, but... You know what? I'm gonna go with it. And, oh boy, the, like, I'm, I'm, I'm 14 episodes in, and oh boy, the drama and chaos has already happened. I am very much a fan of the challenge so far. The thing with the Sims 4 challenge is that I have a lot of, like, D&D-based, um, townies that I made. I'm going out of my way to, like, edit, like, the, like, younger townies as they age up. And it's- it takes up so much time, like, oh, this dragonborn- like, this dragonborn child is now a teenager, and now I have to go in and, like, ed like, edit them so they have, like, the dragonborn face shape and the scales and everything, and stuff like that, or... Oh, this tiefling aged up, now I have to go and add, like, the horns and the tail again every single time they age up, because they lose the horns and tail every single time they age up. It's- it takes a lot of time, I enjoy it. But, like, that's time I could also be spending, like, editing videos, or writing for the Warrior series, or doing other stuff. Axel, level 20, excellent! Also, I'm sorry if I- I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed up at all, it's getting to- 
despite how despite the crazy heat wave it is starting to be like almost autumn spooky season starts tomorrow after all i know it's september but we're but still spooky season like spooky season month eve i guess you know what i mean but yeah because because like next because like september is like right around the corner and my allergies have started acting up despite being in the middle of like the worst heat wave i hate allergy season it's the worst so if I sound a little congested or stuffed up, I very much apologize. If Pokemon had Dutch names, there would be a really fun pun to make with Amparo's name in Dutch. The word to complete is Voltuyen. Volt is related to electricity, and Ui is the Dutch word for female sheep. Voltui, the final evolution of the sheep line. That would be pretty cool. I know they I know they do have different names in some in some countries. Like, um, like, not even just, not even, like, just Japan. I think they have different names in France and Germany. I know in Pokemon Black and White, like, there was, like, this show you could watch on TV that would, like, tell you the names of Pokemon in different countries. There was also a show in Pokemon Black and White that would just teach you Japanese phrases. That was fun. I don't really know any Dutch, except I... The only thing I know, because I saw like this, I saw like a video just like doing a bunch of random clips of like, wait a second, you can't actually fight a hop up. What are you? What am I thinking? You can't fight a hop up. I don't actually know the word, but I do know that the Dutch word for raccoon means laundry bear. I know that much. Oh, and I also remember a bit that I saw where like somebody got like a, like somebody was like playing Minecraft. Yes, yeah, it's so cute. Somebody was playing Minecraft and, like, and decided to get a pet rabbit that they wanted to name Avon Dayton. And it was also the day before Easter. Or Washing Bear, yeah. But yeah, they, they got a pet rabbit and they named it Avon Dayton and it was the day before Easter. And as Minecraft animals tend to do, it just, like, walked into... It walked into a wall and died. And so, like, the guy, like, um, somebody was just, like, stare at it for a second and then just cooked it up and put it on the wall. And so the next day, um, the guy who originally got the rabbit saw the, saw the, like, cooked rabbit named Avon Dayton and decided he was gonna do, like, a little funeral service and got his friend, who was actually Dutch, to, like, do a funeral service for this rabbit named Avon Dayton. And then he finished it off by eating it, and, like, then the, the, per the person's actually just, wait a second, I just understood what the name means! There's a Dutch Christmas song made by a comedian about a boy who's looking for his bunny on Christmas Eve. Oh no! <laughs> and I absolutely hate the song because the voice is awful. Oh dear, it's another Avon Dayton incident. Oh boy. <laughs> That's oh boy. <laughs> Must be a common theme with rabbits then, I guess. <laughs> So off to take on the Valley Windworks, and to take on Team Galactic. Alright. It's locked from inside. Use the works key? Yes. Kerchunk. And it's open. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all! This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander! I do love the music in here. There's just the smooth jazz that goes along with this game is just so fun. I can't wait to hear what the music sounds like in the remakes. Uh, sh uh Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. All right. Hello, dude. Shall I battle you? Oi, this is no fun in games. This is proper work, I tell you. All right, let's go. I'm so excited for the remakes. Me too. Yes, I I really need to figure out how to get my um how to get my uh, game capture card to work because I want to I want to stream it when it comes out. What? Some brat messed up my job. Yeah, well, I'm gonna mess up everybody's jobs here. Team Galactic needs electricity for doing something big. Let's see how you handle Team Galactic. Collecting energy from the value Windworks. That's our mission. 
Diamond was your child, so you're tempted to get Shining Pearl because of that, but also have that Yeah, same. That's... Like, I, I always tend to play the games that I've, like... I always tend to play the remakes of games I've already played in the past. Because I know what to expect, and, like, there's a nostalgia factor. So I, I definitely... I definitely am probably going to be getting Brilliant Diamond myself. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Yeah, well, that's what that's what training does. Is be, you become a tough trainer. See, I've been I've been working with my Pokemon. I've been like trying to build up their skills. So I know what I'm doing. I wanted to actually talk to this guy really quick. My Pokemon can't battle anymore. They're gonna take away my Pokemon for messing this one up. Huh? Just you wait. Our commander will smush you. Jeez, that was a jerk. It's a jerk move. Take away your Pokemon for... whatever. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Alright, let's see how well we can take on Mars. She's got four Pokemon, oh goody. Okay, Zubat. It's a level 18 Zubat, okay. Glad I trained everybody up to level 20. Let's go! Yeah, alright. Um, Water Pulse. Okay, that was a critical hit, super close, Poison Fang, that's scary. Ooh, oh no. Oh, that sucks. Oh no. What do you think you're doing to my Pokémon? Bite! Just bite it. Okay, goodbye Zubat! And you're hurt by poison. We're gonna switch, for sure. Sitting in Yanma, we're switching. To Axel, let's go. Loving the Team Galactic music, though. Oh, detect, lovely, lovely. And it has speed boost to raise its speed. Okay. I don't like this battle at all already. Okay, there goes another speed boost. You please tell me it doesn't do more damage based on higher speed. Okay. Okay, goodbye, Yanma. Okay, Bronzor. The question is, does this Bronzor have heat proof or levitate? I'm gonna hope that it has, well, hmm. I'm setting at risk. I'm hoping that it has heat proof. Cause it's gonna, it's also psychic type and Kai cannot handle. Okay, we're doing magnitude. Yeah, it has levitate, of course it does. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna heal up Kai. Or I'm gonna heal up Axel. Um, super potion... on Axel. Okay, extra sensory. Not fun. Okay, um... Extra- hang on, I want to double check your stats. Special defense is not so good. You've got better special defense. It is. I- the Gen 4 extrasensory animation. It is fun. Okay. Because you have levitate, you don't have heat proof, meaning that we can do this! It's not a lot of damage, but you know what? 
I'll take it. I don't like that. I don't like taking any damage in this fight. Any damage I take in this fight scares me. Oh, good. Oh, are you about to eat a bear? Ross berry or no? Okay. Citrus berry. You know what? Oh, okay. Screw you. Okay. More extrasensory. Lovely. Okay, wake up, wake up, please wake up. So now Simba immune to psychic. I should have thought of that. I actually, for, I actually didn't realize that dark types were immune to psychic. That is something I will keep in mind. Simba, go! And goodbye, Bronzor. The experience got split, but you know what? It's fair enough. Perugly. I know that Perugly is gonna hit like a truck. We're gonna I'm gonna switch to Kai because Kai has fighting type moves. Mach Punch should hit hard. It should hit hard enough. Those petals are pretty. But anyway, mock punch. Okay, well. When a fake out does that much damage, that's scary. But mock punch? Let's do this. Oh, screw you. Facade. Okay. I don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. Really hate fighting Perugly because you never have anything to take it on. I know. I hate. I like the Perugly scares me. Like my Pokemon are all a higher level than her Pokemon, and you've seen like how much damage I've taken already. This is like fighting a gym leader practically. Not only that, but in Renegade Platinum, they're all like all Pokemon are like buffed up. Aside from your own, so because you have to figure out what your Pokemon can do. Uh, Simba, I'm gonna see if you can take on the Perugly. I'm scared, but... Um... Let's Sand Attack! Oh, Hypnosis, screw you! Oh, come on. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay, you know what? As soon as we wake up, we're gonna bite. But, uh... Uh... Ba, 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 ba. How, how much, how many, how many times can facade be used? That is my question. How many times can facade be used? Because if I can wait out all the times that she uses facade... Uh, I don't like this. Okay, yeah, I've got a heal again. I do not like this battle one bit. 20 times! Okay, I can't really wait it out. I think she's used it like five times so far. Maybe six from Lucky, but I think she's used it like. Okay. This is annoying. Simba woke up. Use assurance. It does nothing. Okay, we're using another super potion, because I don't like this. And doesn't it do more damage the more the more like damage that Perugly has taken? That's not good. Oh, you've done another hypnosis. Okay, whatever. 
screw you, Perugly. I hate you. I... Okay, it doesn't- it hasn't done that much damage. Not if it takes more damage, that's- Okay. It does more damage to your status condition, so don't give the status condition- condition we're good. Okay, Endeavor. Okay. They are the two moves that I remember in Gen 3 had, like, almost the same animation. Okay, using a regular potion for now. I just... Yeah, my sleep luck... Here's the thing. When it comes to confusion and sleep, I have the worst luck. So at this point, it's just like... It is floating. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if that's a glitch or if like that's just how the art actually is. But you know what? That is actually funny. I can't wait for you to waste your... I think I am going to wait out the entire facade. Oh wait, does it? Is, is it going up by a few pixels each time? I can't actually tell right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look at the footage when I'm like editing this. I'm gonna have to look at the footage. Even funnier with the back animations. Oh! <laughs> that is actually great. I think I can kind of see it's going up. Yeah, I can, I can, like, you can see, like, where there's that little bit of blue right there. That is exactly right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I literally am just waiting out this entire... Okay, we are switching to a different Pokemon now. Riss, can you handle Facade? Okay, you can handle facade. I should have sent you out anyway. Um, we are doing a uh, stop. Faint attack. Okay. Okay, that. Perugly, I hate you. I hate you, Perugly. We are using a super potion on Riss. I think I've waited out the facade, or maybe it's just because I've switched to Riss. What abilities can Perugly have? I don't know, but like, it just scares me. Okay, we're gonna bulldoze the heck out of this thing. Okay, let's see if this does... Yes, there we go! I should have just done that from the beginning! Thick fat or own tempo, neither of those. Yeah, that was my luck is the worst. Yes. That that is just literally my life. I literally have always had the worst luck ever. You can't be! I lost you! You brat! I couldn't read the whole thing. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My my, lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've gathered plenty- we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. I'm trying to do like a Vexen-like voice. If I'd done that from the beginning, we wouldn't have seen the floating cat. That is true. It seems quite obvious to me, Karen, the uh, genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Would you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. <laughs> You're about to see a little bit- Aw, thank you, thank you. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave it for the time being. There we go. Team Galactic. Somebody watching YouTube did the Zemnis voice for Cyrus and it was perfect. Ooh, that sounds so perfect for- I can totally see that for Cyrus. 
Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It's for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky! Go shower now, stinky! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer! You made those bad people go away! I think the balloon Pokemon will, be will come visiting again! Oh, you mean the one that I saw a few times that I got scared of? Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's always a certain day. Uh, I've already seen the Drifloon and I get a little bit worried, but anyway. I have antidotes! Gary, take an antidote and we are off to go and heal. Looker! Ah, oh, yes, it is you, yes. I've heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you say. You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. And... Magnificent! Yes, it is! What you have said it is all true! Superb! Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I've received tips that t the Team Galactic hideout is in Eterna City. To there, I must be off. Alright, see ya, looker. I kind of wish that they kept the gag of him, like, not quite- of him being, like, a foreigner in the anime. But I do remember, like, his- I remember his- his appearance in the anime. Jupiter started flirting with him, like, I see why they call you looker. You are my type. Well, unfortunately, you're not my type. It was- it was something like that. Oh, but Team Galactic is not here anymore. Excellent, excellent. I think training in the Eternal Forest is the best thing to do because I have assistance there. If the team up thing is still a thing, team up sh the team up thing should still be a thing. I'll probably have to. I'll probably spend a bit of time training in the in the forest. Yeah. The trouble is actually being able to catch a Pokemon in Eternal Forest. I have a question. Because it's so hard to catch a Pokemon in the Eternal Forest, should I wait until after the person leaves to catch a Pokemon? Or should I just struggle with, like, two encounters at a time? Because it's so hard. I'm permitted to wait, minus of my rules. I think I'm gonna wait until after. No matter what appears, like, first Pokemon I find after she leaves, that is gonna be my catch. But other than that, any team-up area, yeah, because it's so hard to catch a Pokemon when, like, two, two appear at a time, and your partner's gonna try and kill it anyway. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm establishing that now. That is my rule. Oh yeah, refreshing battle that was. Okay, good, good, good. Always ha always glad to have a refreshing battle. Hey, battle me! It's a long way between Floroma and Eterna City, so let's battle! <laughs> and you're asleep, okay. I do have the worst luck when it comes to this kind of stuff, especially with the serious battles, but... I'm gonna keep battling, why not? Unless this tail crits me like five times in a row, I'm good. Wake up, Simba, please. I hate I hate the sleep condition because I, for some reason, always get the worst luck. I have the worst paralysis luck. I have the worst confusion luck. I have the worst sleep luck. Anything that stalls my movement in any way, I get the worst. I get the worst of it. I do, I do. I absolutely have the worst luck with it. Any anything with status, I get the worst luck in it. I hate it. <laughs> Why is my luck like this? <laughs> this is the, this is part of the reason that this is part of the reason that I've never like learned to do like the super strategic battle. Like, oh, I have to risk getting this status effect, but I'll be able to pull this off, and I have to calculate my luck. My luck is always so poor. I just have to try and attack things as hard as possible before, like, I get, like, stalled so much I die. Did you understand what I meant? Did my Pokemon smell nice? I mean, I guess. I- yeah, it's a screen. I can't smell pixels on it. And I found a Stardust! <laughs> I literally just tapped, like, I wonder if something will be here. I was gonna go to each individual spot, but nope. I found it right away. 
And got a Destiny Knot. Interesting. I hope I never have to use that, because if I recall what Destiny Knot does... If the holder oh never mind it's something different I thought it was, I thought it was like destiny bond which is where when you when you faint your opponent faints but if the holder becomes infatuated the foe does too okay trying to think of a new name for that magnemite by the way I might just call it Jared after that bard character I know I said I wasn't gonna like say anything that could be like a spoiler about Jared's backstory but because like I know Miari watches the videos. But then Miyari commented on that video saying, No, please, do tell more! And I'm debating, should I tell more or not? Because, <laughs> like, Jared's backstory is gonna be, like, super interesting. It's super complicated, but, like... Okay, let's just battle. Hiya! There's nothing- There's no holding anything back! I don't know what I was trying to say at first, but... No holding anything back. Alright. Like, a lot of the story with Jared is, like, um, he's, like, he's one of three adopted kids. None of the three of them, like, are the- none of the- none of the three of them or their dad are the same race. Like, their dad is an Asimar. Um, the older brother, Bennett, is a Furbolg. Uh, Jared's the middle kid. He's human. And the youngest is Isaac, who's a fire genasi. But, yeah, um, like, so between the three of them, like... They were close, the dad has- the dad kind of, like, has to go off often for one reason or another. Probably because of, like, whatever his job was before he decided to start raising three kids. So, like, while he would go off, like, um, Bennett and- Bennett and Jared were in charge of looking after their younger brother, uh, Isaac. And that was fine for a while. But, uh, Bennett would often, like, like, Bennett is a fighter and would often, like, go off into town, like, and, like, take part in, like, like a fighting pit or something. And eventually, like, he, like, he got so good that eventually he, like, left town to, like, try and, like, find more places with, like, more challenging foes. And finally, like, at some point, like, Jared was like, okay, you know what, I've, like... I take care of Isaac more often than not anymore. Dad's gone more often than not. Bennett's not around anymore. I'm gonna take Isaac and we're, I'm gonna set off and like try and like figure out my life. Goes off into some city and at first it's fine. At first, um, at first everything's great. Like he, like he's, he gets a job, like he, he gets a job like helping out at this bakery or something. And, like, there's, like, there's, like, this little, like, above the bakery, like, apartment that he and his brother are able to live in. And it's great, but then he, like, the bakery starts struggling, so he makes, like, a deal to, like, try and save the bakery with, like, some, like, slightly shadier fig, um, gang? Who, like, like and now he's, like, owing that gang money. I, I need, like, it's hard for me to, like, just, like, say it. Like, they, I had the details better in my head. Um... And as a result, um, Jared becomes, like, a lot more and more stressed. And... Um, like, winds up, like, becoming a bit more, like, because he's so stressed, he becomes, like, a bit more and more of a jerk to the people around him. Like, the, like, uh, the girl who owns the bakery, the girl who actually owns the bakery, like, they were, like, super close friends, and now, like... Like, now he's kind of, like, get, being, like, super angry at her. He's angry at his brother. He's basically angry, getting angry at everybody around him. At some point, his brother decides, like, you know what? I want to try and help out. Isaac, like, Isaac decides, like, he wants to try and help his brother out somehow. And manages, and drags his friend Len along. Len being the, Len being, like, the one, the character who would otherwise be the wild magic sorcerer character. And then Jared finds out, like, later on that, like, he's, like, being asked to, like, come. And apparently his brother tried stealing from, like, the from the gang or something. And it turns out that Len is the son of, um, Len is the son of the leader. And the whole thing is just a mess. And now Jared is, like, not supposed to come back to the city until he can pay them back. And they're gonna keep his brother, like... As, um, insur- as hostage? Insurance? I'm sure- there's, like, a word for it. It's 
I'm tr I can't think of it off the top of my head. I think that I can actually heal up in here, right? You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Yes, I can heal. Thank you. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. Thank you. Repels are useful, don't you think? When you use a repel, weak Pokemon won't come out. But that means there also won't be any Pokemon to capture. You know what? Fair enough. But at the very least, I'm healed. Hang on. Ah, this place is blocked off. Don't need cut, but it's still blocked off. But you know what? I'm probably gonna wrap this up around now anyway. I guess I'm gonna just like leave you guys all here and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the future. So stay safe out there everybody.